Did you know that a revolutionary fighter jet is in development? And no, it is not some no-namer or an improvised fifth-generational fighter. It is altogether a new sixth-generation beast ready to conquer the vastness of skies. Want to know more? Let's dive right into it. The United States has been militarily dominant in the air for a long time thanks to its tried-and-true fighter aircraft like the F-15, F-16 and F-18, as well as the F-22. The king of the skies and the only fifth-generation fighter and service aircraft for a long time. Up until recently, no other country had a significant competitor to the United States' fifth-generation fighter jets. However, after years of struggling to perfect the F-35 fighter, the United States is eager to finally advance and blow its rivals out of the water. The next generation of jet fighters, which will be entirely different from the previous generation, is now seemingly inevitable. But before we move on to the sixth generation, first, let's briefly view the current position. Understanding where we are now with the fifth generation crafts will help us better understand what we can expect from the newer generations. In 2005, the United States introduced the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, the world's first operational fifth generation fighter. The stealth capabilities of this generation of fighter jets made them stand out from their predecessors. That's why the F-22 Raptor prioritized developing its stealth technology. Instead of focusing on minimizing their radar signal after production, the designers of these planes gave it a top priority throughout the first stages of development. As a result, the multi-role fighter was developed, one capable of conducting hit-and-run operations behind enemy lines with little or no resistance, achieving its objectives, and destroying vital enemy air and ground targets. These superior aircraft were equipped with active electronic scanning array radars and supersonic cruising engines that didn't require afterburners. Fifth generation aircraft have the advantage of being able to carry weapons and fuel externally, but if they need a boost, doing so will immediately make them less stealthy and without full-on state capabilities. What this means is that they are essentially just more aesthetically pleasing versions of fourth generation jets. However, to solve this, there will now be a sixth generation or class of fighter jets, as has already been confirmed. It is also expected that one-on-one -on -one dogfights and outright air superiority will play a smaller role in future aerial combat. That is why, most likely, the new jet will work as part of a larger network of human and unmanned aircraft, ground personnel, satellite or AWACS planes, and so on, depending on the specifics of the mission at hand. The concept of manned and unmanned aircraft integration is that a single pilot can control many aircraft. The pilot would be free to focus on the most important goals while the drones provided recon support or drew opposing fire away from them without interference from ground control or AI. By taking on these guises, the intrepid aviator would be able to sneak into dangerous situations undetected or at least be exposed to more and less lethal dangers while on the job. The XQ-58 Valkyrie, or a trustworthy wingman, could be among those unmanned aircraft. The employment of digitally simulated control panels or virtual cockpits is fundamental to this level of technological complexity. The technology is already in use in the F-35, and it will allow pilots to view their control panels through helmets, head displays, or HMDs, giving them a 360-degree field of view and an increased level of AI-enhanced battlefield awareness. Airborne high-energy beam weapons, or lasers, are currently in development and could be used by the government. Most notable examples of such platforms are the American Boeing YAL-1 and the Soviet Beriev A-60. These weapons could be used for defensive or offensive purposes, such as jamming enemy radar or jamming enemy satellite signals. The multi-role sixth-generation fighter will also need to meet the standards set by the preceding generation, such as stealth technology and the ability to achieve hypersonic speeds without the use of afterburn. In 2008, the U.S. Navy began the FAXX program, and in 2010, the Air Force began developing its own next-generation tactical aircraft. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency was tasked with spearheading the creation of these cutting-edge airplanes. Jointly concentrating on AI technologies and sharing an airframe, the Air Force and the Navy formally merged their needs in 2015. The Air Force intended to replace aging fighters like the F-15 platforms made by Boeing and the F-22 Raptor made by Lockheed Martin with a new sixth-generation fighter jet developed and acquired through the Penetrative Counteract or PCA program. The timeline originally called for the jet to take to the skies in the 2030s, 
but we now know it to be overly optimistic. These NGAD or Next Generation Air Dominance program planes will join only three other fighter jets to form the entire air fleet of the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy. Specifically, the Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet, the Lockheed Martin F-35, the Boeing F-15E, and its upgraded derivative, the F-15EX. The Air Force's most advanced fighter, the F-22 Raptor, will be retired as a result of this. All three major aerospace manufacturers, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop, have stated plans to complete work on a next-generation aircraft by the end of 2021. And now the countdown has begun to launch it into the skies. Given that funding for the project was only granted by Congress in 2018, the program is advancing at an unusually fast pace for a fighter jet concept, which has caught military analysts by surprise when Dr. Will Ropper, the acquisition executive for the U.S. Air Force, announced in September 2020 that the Air Force had already flown a full-scale flight demonstrator as part of its program. When you look at the project in greater depth, though, this makes sense. The program's careful project management is a standout feature. Unlike many other projects involving fighter jets, this one was completed on time and within budget. Separate departments were established this time around to handle design, manufacturing, and upkeep. Instead of investing in a single, extremely costly aircraft factory, the government spread out production among multiple, less risky high-tech manufacturing hubs that can make anything from scratch in digital format. When Dr. Will Roper first announced the research in September of 2020, he was extremely vague about the specifics. Roper, for one, would not say how many test planes had been flown or name any of the defense firms that had worked on the project. He also wouldn't reveal when the maiden flight was. And, in what was possibly the most surprising part of the news, he wouldn't say anything at all about the plane's design, purpose, or even whether or not it would be piloted. The speeds and enhanced stealth capabilities also were kept secret. We do know, however, that numerous other countries have sixth-generational aircraft programs underway or in the works, with the Japanese Mitsubishi FX, the British BAE systems the Temptis, and the jointly created European Future Combat Air System being the most famous. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time!